Morning. Hey. Hi. You must be the new guy. We're so happy to have you. Yeah, I'm Greg. I'm, I'm really excited to be here. Great. Well, I'm, I'm Katie, and this is Hank. Hey. Well, uh, the job is pretty intuitive, so I'm going to help you get started. I think you'll pick up on everything pretty quick. Mm -hmm. I think so too, Greg. I really, I really do. Mm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> customer service. This is Katie. All righty. We're going to just need your confirmation code for that. That's 482-698-E as in Eskimo, R as in Redneck, M as in Mormon, A as in Arab, and M as in Mulatto. <laughs> That's right. Thank you so much for calling. <clears throat> Sorry, Hank. Uh, I know that I'm new here, but is there a sp specific methodology to creating these codes? Like, how do you pick the words that go with the letters? Do we have to use ethnic groups? or No. No rules here, Greg. Rules are for horses. And when giving codes, you just kind of use whatever pops into your mind. I like to keep a list of X words at my desk. Helps me feel confident. You know, I don't want to get flustered and get pinned down as the xylophone guy. My, um, my uh, favorite X word is xylene. It's a colorless hydrocarbon. Okay, but I feel like some of the stuff that she's saying is a little racist. I think we should say something. Yeah, I'm not sure I see it that way, Greg. After all, one person's a little racist as another person's not racist enough. It's all just part of the fun of letting your personality shine through at the office. I mean, heck, <laughs> I got Gumby here taking a crap on my desk. I mean, <laughs> that's different. Customer mm. service, this is Katie. Okay, a refund. Well, that's the juiciest thing I've heard so far today. All right, we're going to need your transaction number for that. Just one second, I'll grab it for you. Okay, that number is 768. 990 D as in did someone invite that black guy or did he just break in? <laughs> S as in some sort of headscarf. W as in we can all agree that Obama's long form birth certificate was bogus, right? J as in Japanese internment during World War II wasn't such a terrible idea. And X as in xylene is a colorless hydrocarbon, which is probably only something an Asian would care about. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a, I'm sorry, that's a stretch. That's a real stretch. For me, and for everyone, I think. <clears throat> Customer service. Customer service, this is Greg. I am pulling up your database right now, and I've got your, your contract number. It is 843-214. R, the letter R, as in Ron, was a guy that I roomed with in college. He was funny, he was smart, and as it happens, he was black. The letter I as in illegal immigration, is something that I am fine with. And then the letter D, as in Dan Snyder is the owner of the Washington Redskins. And I think we can all agree at this point that that is a mascot that is completely inappropriate. We've evolved as a people. You want to talk to Katie? Oh. Customer service, this is Katie. Okay, that code is smallpox blankets were a clever idea. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> You, you didn't even read anything. You're just saying stuff now. You're just saying racist shit. Greg. Greg, I'm, I'm going to need you to show me that you got this. Come on, buddy. Customer service, this is Greg. You know, you're... Contract number is 642-398. And then the letter H, as in Hispanic. The letter P, as in Polak. The letter N, as in I cannot do this. I'm sorry. <clears throat> no. I'm, I don't care. I'm not going to do it. Nitroglycerine. Oh. <laughs> Should have gone with nitroglycerine. That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs>